The re-engagement center, which is housed inside of Baltimore City School Board headquarters, is a sort of educational bridge for young people who are trying to get on the right path. Good job. Job well done. At one point, they considered dropping out of school. Some ended up behind bars. Sean Carter. Now they're being honored in this recognition ceremony just weeks before receiving their high school diploma. They all agree the re-engagement center made the difference. I told my grandmother that I wanted to go to the re-engagement center and transfer to a new school so I can graduate on time. We are so proud of y'all. On time and now being honored as class valedictorian at Career Academy. I'm so happy to see A's and B's. I never saw them when I was going to Emerson Westside High School. I'm so glad to see a GPA. I never saw that. This student and the mother of a four-year-old is also on track to graduate, go on to college, and then pursue a career in nursing. It was a blessing. It was really a blessing. It was like, dang, I, I, messed, I didn't mess up. I taught myself a lesson, and I, I can extend on my lesson. That's what it felt like. I'm extending on my lesson. There are students who say they'll cherish these memories well beyond high school. What does this day mean to you? It's important. You know, it's just, it means a lot to me. I just never see myself, you know, coming this far in my life. Never see myself walking on the stage, not doing any of that with my life. Next is Tanera Myers. In the audience, family members and school support staff who were clearly moved by the experience. It's almost like I want to come back home, the prodigal son story. It's almost like I want to go get that lost sheep, that one. It's like that. It's ministry to me. The re-engagement center is already preparing to help another group of Baltimore City students start over by first finishing school. In North Baltimore, Tim Tootin, WBAL. TV 11 News.